Hello everyone, my name is Ankit Verma and today we are learning the example of deterministic finite automata which is DFA and here construct DFA of language with all strings not starting with A or not ending with B over sigma equal to A comma B. This is not a normal question, this is a tricky question. Whenever we find not or not that means these are not the normal words so this question will be solved by the trick so here we are going to construct the dfa for the strings where in the start a should not be there or at the end b should not be there so not starting with a this complete string I am assuming this is A and here not ending with B this complete string I am assuming this is B and here we are having OR and sign of OR is union the meaning is that this complete string is A union B to solve this question I am using the D Morgan's theorem and De Morgan's theorem says that whenever we are having the A union B and we are taking its complement, so that will be equal to A complement and here the sign will reverse, that will be intersection B complement. So here for the given string that is not starting with A or not ending with B which is A union B we are finding its complement and that is equal to A complement intersection B complement and that will be equal to so here A complement the A is not starting with A and its complement will be starting with A afterward we are having the intersection here the union represent OR and the intersection is reverse which represent AND. Afterward B complement. Here the B is representing not ending with B. So its complement will be ending with B. So here we have strings starting with A and ending with B. This DFA we have already constructed in the previous lectures. I am giving the link in description. So this is the DFA for string starting with A and ending with B. Or we can say that it is A complement intersection B complement or it is A union B complement. But we want the DFA for A union B. So here I am mentioning A union B. And A union B is string not starting with A or not ending with B. So here we are having the DFA for A union B ka complement and we want A union B that means this should be complemented and when a DFA is given and if we want its complement then for that we need some conversion. So first thing we convert final state to non-final state. So here in the given DFA which is of A union B complement and we are going to convert it to A union B. So here the final state is Q2. So here I am mentioning it Q2 and this is the final state because final state is represented by double circle. So when I am making its complement DFA in that this final state is converted to the non-final state so this is the normal state and here I am checking this is only the final state so I have converted to the non-final state the second conversion is we has to convert non-final states to the final state so here in the given DFA we have the non-final states the first one is Q0. So here I am mentioning it Q0 
this is non final state so i am converting it to the final state that means double circle the next state is q1 this is non final so i am taking this q1 and converting to the final state that means double circle the third state is q3 this is again non final state so i am taking this q3 and converting to the final state that means double circle and rest of the things will be as it is so when a dfa is given and we want its complement so the final state will be converted to the non final and all the non final state will be converted to the final states so here we have created the dfa for strings not starting with a or not ending with b there are certain steps that we have followed first of all we has to find out that it is the normal question or tricky question so whenever not or these terms are given that means it's a tricky question so here not starting with a is represented as capital a and not ending with b is represented as capital b or or is represented as union so here we have applied the de morgan's theorem that if a union b complement we has to find out that will be equal to a complement intersection b complement so here a complement signify strings starting with a and b complement is string ending with b also intersection is represented by and this dfa we have already created which is string starting with a and ending with b so in the previous lecture this dfa we have created which is taken as it is and making the dfa for this language starting with a and ending with b is very easy so we have taken it and this dfa is for a union b complement and we want a union b which is string not starting with a or not ending with b so for that this a union b complement we has to again do the complement so here we are converting the final state to non final state and non final state to the final state and our dfa is ready we got our answer but still we has to generate the language here we have given that sigma equal to set of a comma b here a comma b are symbols and sigma is alphabet alphabet is set of symbols which is a and b means from a and b we has to take the strings which not start with a or not end with b now we are generating the language from this alphabet so here i am taking l this l signify language and the language is string not start with a or not end with b so here it will be equal to the set and here we are having the null string which is epsilon because epsilon or the null string not start with a or not end with b so this is null comma here the important thing is or or means if either of the condition is true we has to take them into the language so just check for the string which not start with a so here we have b so b is not starting with a so this is one string comma the string not starting with a there can be b a comma so there are multiple possibility for not starting with a now i'm taking the second case which is not ending with b so here we have possibility just like a so this a is not ending with b comma we may have a a 
So this AA also not ending with B, comma, so on. So there are various possibility. Because or is applied, that means we have to take either of the cases. So all the strings will be the part of language. So here we are taking A, then B, then AA, then BA, and so on. So there are various possibilities into the language. Here the key point is OR. OR means from both the cases, if either of the case will true, we have to take them into the language. Here we have already designed the DFA for the strings not starting with A or not ending with B. Now we are just checking the strings on this DFA one by one. So starting with epsilon. So epsilon means there is nothing given the input. So the initial state is already the final state because it is represented by the double circle. This arrow signify it is the initial state and also it is having the double circle means this epsilon is accepted by this DFA. Now I'm checking the second string which is A. So from the initial state Q0, if A is coming, we are on Q1. And Q1 is already the final state because it is represented by double circle. So after scanning this A, we are on to the final state. That means A is also accepted. Now I'm checking the next string which is B. So starting from the initial state Q0, when B is coming, we are on Q3 and this Q3 is the final state. So after scanning the complete string, which is B, we are on the final state. So this is accepted by the DFA. Now I'm checking the next string, which is AA. So when the first A is coming from Q0, which is the initial state for the A, we are going to Q1. Then the next A is coming. So from Q1, again, if A is coming, we are coming back to Q1. This is the final state. So after scanning this complete string, we are on the final state. That means this string is accepted by the DFA. Now I'm checking the next string, which is BA. So when the first B is coming, so start with the initial state Q0. When B is coming, so we are on the Q3. Afterward, if A is coming, so from Q3 for A, we are coming back to Q3. So here, this is the final state. So after scanning the complete string, we are on the final state. That means this string is accepted by the DFA. So all the string of language are accepted by the DFA. Now I'm taking a string which is not the part of language and the string is AB. The language is string not start with A or not end with B. Here the OR signify that if any of the case is true, we have to take that string. In case one, not starting with A, but it, here it start with A. In case two, not end with B, but here it end with B. This string is violating both the cases. That means this string is not the part of language. I'm checking this string on the DFA that the DFA is accepting it or not. So here when A is coming, so from the initial state Q0 for A, we are going to Q1. Then B is coming. So from Q1 for B, we are on the Q2. Here Q2 is not a final state. That means after scanning the complete string, we are on the state which is not a final. That means this string is rejected by the DFA. So that is true. The DFA is going fine. It is rejecting the string which is not the part of language and it is accepting the string which is part of language. So this is the DFA for string not starting with A or not ending with B. So that's all for today. Thank you.